Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Fancy Dance, which is a new drama coming out on Apple TV Plus from writer-director Erica Tremblay, and this film focuses on a woman played by Lily Gladstone coming off of her big award season buzz from Killers of the Flower Moon as she portrays Jax, whose sister, Tawi, has gone missing, and she's trying to take care of her niece, uh, Roki, played by Isabel DeRoy Olsen, and things get complicated when her father, played by Shea Wingham, gets involved, and they go on the run, one, trying to keep their family together, and two, find out what happened to Towie. And this film is rich in the way that it shows the experience of Native Americans, the reservation life, the shining a light on the apathy that there is for a lot of government organizations trying to find missing Native women. You saw this tackled in films like Wind River. This is, instead of coming from Taylor Sheridan's perspective, this is really coming from the actual Native American experience and perspective, and it adds a lot of depth. And also, just, it's so frustrating and sad and tragic as this woman on the run with her niece is trying desperately to find out what happened to her sister to try to keep her family together while knowing it's probably not going to end well. And this film is anchored by such a powerful performance from Gladstone, who's certainly a star rising at the moment, and I can see her continuing to be such an impactful performer. This performance, there's a lot of stiff upper lip to her, but there's moments where it cracks through, and the vulnerability that Gladstone's able to show. And I think DeRoy Olsen, who plays Roki, the niece, also does a fantastic job in this film, and she gives a great performance. I think actors like Shea Wingham was perfect for this, like, disconnected father figure, and he's such a great character actor, but a lot of the other performers, like Patrice Fisher and... Ryan Begay, who are playing some of the other indigenous people in the film, also give great supporting performances that add depth, add character to this place. The, the home, this neighborhood, this community feels so lived in. And it's all building up to this point where Roki just wants to dance and be there with her mother at this big performance that she's been building up to this powwow and it's tragic seeing this heightened tension and the police on them and there's great tension Tremblay does a great job of keeping you on the edge of your seat never quite knowing exactly when things might you know go sideways and this is such an impactful emotional poignant film that has so many layers of complexity. There are conveniences in terms of plot to keep the ball rolling, but you forget about it because you're so invested. I found myself so invested in trying to find out what happened to the sister, and the film ends with some ambiguity, but on such a cathartic moment that is so satisfying thematically that you can fill in some of the gaps along the way, just sitting and thinking, like, what would happen after this situation? But it ends exactly when it needs to, in such a powerful and emotional way. Tremblay certainly has a bright future. This film certainly has plenty of poignancy and impact. But those are my thoughts on Fancy Dance. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.